Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, July 6th to the 12th. There is this, this steadiness of growth or the steadiness of, like, going upward or reaching a goal or trying to reach a goal or trying to. But it's almost like you're you're in the midst of going towards something or working towards something and you kind of like pause and you're like hmm and something clicks and you're like oh that was the missing link so for a lot of you this could be within your own spirituality for others of you this this is going to be in finances where you find almost like a loophole um when it comes to like taxes or something like that or you're just getting a break on something um but it's something that has always been present or has always been available as an information that has always been available for you um and maybe in the past you dismissed it um, or didn't really study or really didn't look into it, just didn't understand it. And now this week is just clicking, right? You're just like, oh, I get it now. So then that allows you to com continue to work or move forward with this, within this environment, whatever this is for you specifically, where now you're walking, working with, um, with a lot more confident, right? And you're, you're definitely in a space, to be honest with you, where you're opening up yourself to, to more possibilities to more to allowing yourself to receive is what i'm picking up you're 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 trying your best to stay in a position of always being willing and able to receive because i feel that you are always giving a lot to a lot of different connections love friends work etc but it, it, it's almost like because you're so used to being like in the giving 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 position it's harder for you to receive. So this week, as this may be that clarity moment that you have where it's like, oh, wait, I gotta wait and I have to receive it. Am I open to receive it or am I blocking it, right? You may be asking for a financial increase or financial blessings. You go and you buy a cup of coffee, the person in front of you offers to pay for it and you're like, no, it's like, yeah, receive it it's not a financial gain as far as like somebody giving you money but in a way it is a financial gain because somebody's offering to pay for something for you even if it is a three dollar coffee it doesn't matter but you're opening up so the more that you open yourself up to allow yourself to receive the more that the the universe god is willing to give to you but if you're sitting here you're just like i want i want i'm open to receive i'm open to receive i'm open to receive and somebody offers to pick up your tab or somebody you know a stranger walking down the road or whatever hands you a rose and you're just like oh no it's like why are you not willing to take the rose it is something that is being given to you it is almost like the universe like okay are they really ready to receive here a stranger passing by and and it doesn't have to be like you know don't go into that energy thinking that somebody's stalking you or that no this person could literally just be walking around with roses and just handing roses out because they had an overflow of roses in their bush, right? You don't know the backstory, but they see you, they feel like you need a rose, they feel like you're going to enjoy the rose, and they're just coming to you and be like, here. And you're like, oh, no. So then you're really not open to receiving, right? So it's about being in that space, right? With the little things that you do on a daily basis, um, is the only way that you really actually show spirit, the universe, God, where you are at in life, right? With the choices that you choose to make on a daily basis. So if you're in this space of wanting to receive, right? Knowing that you put in the work and now you're waiting to receive, as it begins to come in, in a, at a smaller scale, let's put it this way, allow yourself to receive it instead of pushing it away, Okay. So being open to that space, being open to that journey of being on the opposite side, right? Where you're used to always giving now, you're going to be in a space of like balancing out, giving and receiving and not just giving. Alrighty, so three cards for Pisces, Aries, Spirit, three cards. Alright, wait. I have way too many cars come out at once. So these three cards could be confirmation for the reading. 
something else that you are waiting um confirmation for something that didn't come in from the reading or just um anything else advice that you need so we have here confidence is your key to success the new moon in leo then we have nothing will come from this situation the void of course of moon Void of course moon. I don't know, that was like a tongue twister for me. And then we have what do you need to release? The wanting moon, waning moon. So there's definitely an, an aspect here of needing to trust yourself more, right? Needing to allow yourself to go into those uncomfortable spaces for a lot of you this uncomfortable space is the receiving space this is where you have to let go of control this is where there there's nothing else that let's put it this way there's nothing that's going to come to you if you don't allow yourself to receive it and my left ear is like on fire right now whoa so if you want to allow yourself to release right this energy of like nothing new will come from this nothing new will come from from let's put it this way from waiting to receive if you don't open yourself to receive if you don't allow yourself to release that control that you have and do it in a confident way knowing that it's not that i'm not i'm not saying that you're going to be asking people for things but things are, people are going to be offering you little things throughout the week to really kind of like, you know, the universe is trying to get a feel as to where you are at with actually receiving. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel, as well as donating to all of those that have. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't liked, share, or subscribe, I encourage you to do so. It definitely helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all of that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.